Welcome to Cheeky Little House's participation with Wikia's fandom of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Ethan and I are watching the show. We watched the first uh, season. We're deep into the second season. I think four episodes deep right now. Yep. Yep. And uh, Ben hasn't watched a single episode. Nope. But, uh, you know, he's just going to come along for the ride. Hopefully, so, maybe we'll make a convert out of him and you. It's going to be kind of like normal. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with us, uh, we do shows called Back Issues Off the Rack and Busted, where we review comics and talk about them in a very informal kind of discussion-based series. Uh, you can check us all out at TV Little House on YouTube. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. So let's get started. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, the rundown kind of slash discussion uh, slash recollection. Yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is Marvel's attempt at breaking into the TV racket. Um, it is... Directly connected with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, if you're wondering, like, is Agents of Shield part of like the Avengers movies and stuff? Yes, yes it is. Uh, spoilers for now. In fact, spoilers for everything. We're gonna spoil the whole damn thing. Yeah. So, you know, this is an spoiler, 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 spoiler. 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 First spoiler: Phil Coulson didn't die when Loki stabbed him through the back. <laughs> I was gonna ask that. That was gonna be my first. Question. Actually, you haven't even seen commercials. He's in the commercial. I was like, that's not even a spoiler. No. It was more like, <laughs> how did he come TV? back? No, no, he doesn't see any commercials. But okay. So here's the thing. And by the way, shamelessly spoiling. I don't care if you have not yeah. watched it. Get over it. It's over. Yeah. Uh, Phil Coulson, the favorite character from the movies, uh, was the lead actor in this show, is the lead actor in this show, killed off seemingly in the Avengers movies. Loki stabs him to the back with one of the Infinity Stones. Like, Spoilers. Really, really sad. Oh, no, yeah. he and he's dead. Uh, apparently in the show they established like, his heart was torn in half by, the, by yeah. the, the scepter. So he actually did die. Yeah. But stricken with grief and desperate to have his friend back, Nick Fury enacts this like secret protocol that S.H.I.E.L.D. has like totally under wraps. It's like level out everybody in fe like only Nick Fury knows about it, yeah. and I guess the people level who are involved, clearance. level 10 clearance, yeah. um, they have the body of a Kree alien, and they're using its blood as like a cure-all for various problems that they've had. Like heart cut in half. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also they had a crazy doctor like use experimental techniques on him to like, all you see is like he's lying on a table, and there's this like machine. And it's like putting his brain his back together. Brain. It's like... Yeah. yeah, nothing happened like to his brain. High. Well, no, but his well, brain was no, dead because it, it died because his his body died. So he he was dead for like days. Yeah, like they oh, just so decomposition put in. Yeah, well, like the okay. way that the story goes is like according to Phil Coulson, like his resurrection came from he was dead for a few hours, right? And then they used miracle shield science to bring him back. Yeah, and he went to Tahiti to like recuperate, and he has this memory of like being in this tropical island and having a nice time. Yeah, he has a memory of it. It's probably all fake. It is. It it's is a totally implanted fake. memory. It's all fake. And it's just a Trojan to keep him from remembering the trauma yeah, of the horror of having... being dead and having been resurrected by yeah. science. Because as he's there on the table and the thing's operating, he's just he's saying, just let me die. Please, just let me die. Yeah, yeah. he won't. He's saying that? Yeah. Because yeah. he's like awake and it's like apparently horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. That's, by the way, like towards the end of season one where you're like, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's another character Super in the epic. show called um, Sky, who is clearly not called Sky, and it's only finally in, a sh in episode four of season two that someone says that's not really her name. Right. And I'm like, thank you, because <laughs> that's a stupid name. It's Unless you're like a Californian chick from the 90s. Yeah, and no, she's just like half Caucasian, half Asian, and she's like a super tech whiz. Yeah. She knows computers. But she's also, you find out later, and well, what we don't know if she's. Well, no, like, you don't know what she. But they call her a, a number, right? A something, something like an eight four seven two or something. Yeah, which is a, re a, a representative code for uh, an anomaly, like Thor's hammer, or right. like the blue body, or like yeah. she's another thing they found, and then Shield created a thing for. Yeah, like she's she's itemized and like. There's a file on her there, somewhere. Yeah, there was an event that she was a part of in some way. Yeah. Yeah. Which that's like one of the mysteries of the show. The, what they're establishing in season two is that Sky may, in fact, be an alien. Yeah. But what they're probably doing is they're going to establish that Sky is an inhuman. Mm. Those are the two theories. The two theories are either she's Kree or she's an in inhuman. Inhumans, of course, are also from. Yeah, this like, is like span, pre origin. Span but I'm sorry. Inhumans are just mutants, right? <laughs> no, they're not. I know Marvel thinks they are. Yeah. Not going to get started. But the fact <laughs> is, Inhumans have been a rich, long history yeah, with they've Marvel, been and they've been around forever. And yeah. 
but they're naturally occurring as long as they've been and exposed to the Inhumans. And they're doing it in Inhumans movie, right? They are doing an Inhumans movie. Big announcement from Marvel Phase 3. They're, uh, they're doing an Inhumans movie. It should take place, I think, between the Avengers movies. Yeah. Around 2017, right? Yeah. Is that Something the 2016 like that. or 2017? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so that they can replace mutants, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the plan. That's, that's, that's why they're canceling all the X-Men books and yep. stuff. Yeah. So get used to it. Get used to Inhumans because they're not going away. <laughs> Uh, who else you got? You got, uh... Oh, you got Fitzsimmons? Yep, who are, like, scientists. But it's... They're... Fitzsimmons, you think, is, like, one name, but in yeah, fact, like, actually... it's just Fitz and Simmons, and they've used to, like... They're, they're like, this yin and yang, like, best friends. Like, they finish each other's sentences, and they're, like, quirky, fun scientists. Yeah. I remember seeing a trailer for that. I thought they were brother or sister. Yeah, yeah, I thought so, too. They're not. They're just old friends. And then later, the guy, uh, Fitz, figures out that he's in love with her. Yeah. But... No sh- I know. Yeah. Yeah. But then their friend throws them out of a plane and uh, he gets brain damage and now he can't finish sentences and so she bailed. <laughs> he can't finish sentences? No, yeah, well, he's, really uh, he had, he Wait, he can't damage. finish her sentences. No, he can't finish his own sentences. Yeah. He's trying to remember sh- Yeah. Like, so he, now we're now this is season two stuff. At the end of last season he well, and fell okay. out of the plane. Well we're All right, here just we go. for the plane. Agents of Shield was this All show right. where they're like, Okay, we're gonna do this whole like super spy Marvel Universe regular person kind of show, right? Yeah. Then Captain America two came out where spoiler for Captain America two <laughs> Hydra has been infiltrating S.H.I.E.L.D. since the 1950s. Yeah. And so, uh, finally, in Cap 2, Hydra reveals itself, and Cap, Falcon, and uh, Samuel L. Jackson uh, take down not only Hydra, but also S.H.I.E.L.D. And so there's no more S.H.I.E.L.D. But and, you have Bucky. A sh- and Bucky. Right. And you find out, like, well, but there's a show called S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. And so, they, but they tied it directly in with the movie. So there's like a whole thing where like they're watching Cap do shit on the TV, and they're like, "Oh no!" And so like the Hydra agents are trying to kill all the Shield agents, and so Phil Coulson and his like team of you know misfits are all doing their thing, and uh, then they become like outcasts. Like, yeah, they become like, on the run. Well, okay, and then the show becomes well, Firefly because right. like <laughs> before we get yeah. into all that, let's go through all the characters. Yes, okay. Another that makes more sense. <clears throat> another huge character that we can't ignore is uh, May. Right. Melinda May it's played like by super spy. super spy. She's also nicknamed the Calvary. She's just a badass who yeah. like once she shows up, you know that like you're there who someone's day is totally boned. Yeah. <laughs> uh and she's played by Ming Na Wen who played uh Mulan in Disney's Mulan and she's been in a whole bunch of other things and yeah. she's so she's great. great. And in for the whole first season, her and Colson were the reason to watch the show. Yeah. Okay. But uh, for me at least as a watcher, I found that like I needed to go through the like bullshit of meeting these characters <laughs> and enduring yeah. their eccentricities in order for me to give a crap when things happen to them. Yeah. Sky was insufferable in the first three to five episodes. Because yeah. she's just this like total Whedon-y character where she's <laughs> she's just a hilarious beautiful quip machine. Yeah. And she can like just hack the Pentagon on a laptop. Like she's just uh, insufferable, yeah. and every everything's happening, and she's, she's like the ride along character. Theorist that's person. Thing. Yeah, and she's also like a ride along character. So like, she's always like, "What's that or that? What? All these things are happening, and me as the regular new person can't even fathom it." So can you please explain it to me in silly dummy terms? Even though yeah. I'm a goddamn like super hacker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but like it's later not- on, uh, Sky gets shot by one of the bad guys and you're like oh no like I actually found myself really giving a crap yeah but like shot dead shot in the stomach and she's bleeding out so then they use this special magic Cree blood that brought Coulson back to life to keep her alive now how do you use special Cree blood is it like you just drink it a little it. bit no, they injected it and it was just direct injection they just yeah. pulled a bunch well cause they had to break into the secret government facility to find it yeah cause Coulson didn't even know that he was resurrected by shield like he just knew that like he was saved he didn't know that like he was dead and brought back to yeah. life and then they i guess they find out in researching well uh to him. there's a bad guy group called centipede which yeah. for the whole first season i'm like why don't you just call it hydra <laughs> and then cap 2 came out and i'm like oh okay <laughs> but there's a group called centipede that was like making their own bad guys uh using like science and i'm like why don't they call it aim because there's another group called Advanced Idea Mechanics who actually wound up showing up in uh, Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. They're a great S.H.I.E.L.D. slash Avengers villain group. Um, that would have been great for Centipede. Yeah. Again, no, totally Centipede. weird. Yeah. Uh, let's invent something because this rich full 75 year history isn't totally worth using. 
So, uh, well, let's just create something that has like you know many legs instead of yeah. yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, I, yeah is that, I, I could have been an octopus. Yeah, I think they did connect it with like Hydra. I think it's just like a yeah. euphemism for Hydra. Anyway, uh, Centipede was making bad guys and Seastic. and they needed <laughs> uh, they needed Coulson because they knew that Coulson had died. Yeah, and they needed to make their soldiers like invincible. Yeah, on like, kill. Wait, whatever they use to bring you back, will make our soldiers the ultimate. This is the that means group. that. Coulson is now invincible? No, no they no, just know that like he conquered death and they don't know why. Because yeah. they had a guy called the Clairvoyant, and everyone who worked for him believed that he was psychic, but for some reason his psychic powers didn't work on Coulson, so they needed to actually get Coulson and then shove him into a memory downloading machine right. so they could find out what he experienced. Yeah. And by doing so, they actually wound up Awakening in Coulson, what actually happened to him? Right, and then Coulson puts the pieces together, and then he knows where the secret bunker is with the Cree body. And they haven't actually said it's a Cree body, right? But it's a it's goddamn a Cree body. body. Yeah. So then he goes down there, and he's like, "This is the like." Well, they they named it a special like number or yeah. sequence, so you don't really know. They don't call it like fucking blue blood. They just call it like you know X six oh, yeah, five like GH yeah GH one six something. whatever the hell. But it's like GH something, and they're like, well, we know the GH is here, and we need it in order to save Sky, because Sky got shot in the stomach, and she's bleeding out, she's going to die, and they, they have no access to medical facilities. I was going to say, hospitals would be really good. Right, but it, for no, some like, reason, they couldn't make it. I don't remember why. Yeah, she was just too far. She was too far gone. They they were, were oh, using, yeah, they, no, they, they were using, just, like, miraculous science to keep her That's off. right, they were. They actually did, and they, well, because on they're, they're, they travel around via a super plane. Which they call the bus, mm-hmm. and the superplane has its own like medical facility in it. So yeah. like they and, used it. To and try. Simmons is like a medical yeah. genius or whatever. Yeah, so. the girl like, component of uh, yeah. So Simmons. like taking her to the hospital wouldn't have been any better. No, they have their own hospital, and they're already like. I guess. So they wind up like cryo freezing her a little bit. I guess. Yeah, I think alive. that's yeah. So they're using trickery. So she got she death already. Shot right. in the belly. Yep. Yeah. And. There's nothing they can do There's for There's nothing it. they can do, so they like, yeah. we have to go and get the miracle cure. Like her intestines brought... are all shredded or something. Yeah. I don't remember. They, it was really bad. Yeah. yeah, you cut out the shredded part of intestine. You well, reconnect it's the all, tissue. No, it's all. No, it's all bad. Oh, she shot with a shotgun? No, it was a I pistol, but it was point blank range. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So they go to the bunker, they go to the GH thing, and they try to get the blood, and then. Or they try to well, get It's like, a big reveal, because they go into this room. Colson. Yeah, Colson goes into the room by and himself, and he finds this, like. This tube, and he opens it up, and it's a f- dead guy, and, and he's like, like cut off, and then they got metal. tubes, and tubes coming, coming out, out of it, and it's going into that. vials called GH whatever, and he's like, that's not a medicine, <laughs> <laughs> don't put it in her, it's just monster blood, I don't know what it is, <laughs> so they f- put it in anyway. <laughs> so the consequence of being injected with the blood that Coulson experienced, right, was that every few hours to a few days, he will be compelled to carve what looks like mystical writing. Into any surface that he can get his hands on. Yeah, like symbols and stuff. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he was exposed to Cree blood. Yeah. He's now a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> well, no, no, it's tag. It's like uh, yeah. mystical stuff. No, no. Well, he, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's tagging his chalkboard. Have yeah. you seen Close yeah. Encounters of the Third Kind? It's that. No. It's that. It, oh, you know, okay, well. God, Jesus. So you have no point Oh, Jesus, this says all. the man who's never seen Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. Uh, <laughs> Close Encounters of the Third Kind is a little more culturally relevant, relevant than uh, Reservoir Dogs, I think. <laughs> Coulson's like carving, like and in he, fact, he doesn't like, know why, but he has to yeah. do this stuff. And his traitor friend, Bill Paxton, who's in the show, and he's great. Yeah, uh, and you think he's way, a shield agent, and then... but you know he's a bad guy. Like, because <laughs> he's Bill Paxton. When Bill Paxton shows up, he's like, "I'm going to be part of your team now, and I'm your friend." You're like, "He's not your friend. He's a bad guy. Look at him." <laughs> See, Hudson shame. is not going to help you. Hudson should be able to help. I you. know, I mean, but he's on. not. Yeah. So he's going to say game over a lot. He's yeah. going to give up, but he's still a I good guy. I don't think he ever said game over. He does not. He does not. I mean, he's also he helps you get through twi- tornadoes, man. <laughs> so uh, anyway, he gets exposed to something. He has to do the auto writing as well. It's stupid. Yeah, he hurts himself, and then he, he gets the creep blood. Also. Yeah. Anyway, Actually, yeah, because yeah. he's because he's hide at that point he's like unveiled his Hydra, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, guys, I got a boo boo on my finger. Yeah. I don't really want give myself the creep blood. Heal. But uh, that segues into another character we need to introduce named Grant Ward, who, as I refer to him throughout the entire series, was the underwear model because <laughs> he's just this yeah. gorgeous dude yeah. who's like I'm. He's like 26, and he's like I'm just I'm, I'm exposed to so much. I've been a shield agent all my life, and I know. I'm like, dude. You just barely broke puberty. Like, get the yeah. fuck out of here. He's like, grizzled he's another super spy, and he trains Sky. Yeah, he becomes well, because like they're setting up the whole like Sky and Ward are gonna f- at some point in the right. show, and then after Cap Two, right, he's actually Hydra. 
He's been the main character the whole show, and yeah. then it's like, I was Hydra. And he winds up assassinating a fun Marvel character named Victoria Hand, who was like, took over S.H.I.E.L.D. after Nick Fury left, and after Maria Hill left. And uh, he assassinates Patton Oswalt's character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then he, like, betrays them, and then he yeah. throws Fitzsimmons. Well, he assassinates Patton Oswalt, but they bring Patton Oswalt back with the Kree blood, right? No, they bring no, back Patton Oswalt they... because he has a twin brother. Yeah. <laughs> I was making a that joke. That no, the Kree blood, it was all destroyed in the oh, collapse. God yeah. damn it. So, um, and he, and Ward is like, was like trained by Paxton. By character. Bill Paxton's so, character. Like, he's yeah. loyal to him. Like, that's yeah, it's I'm not like that he's Hydra, it's more like that he's loyal to that one guy. Uh, sure. With Ward, whoever yeah. he is, yeah. was he the main person in the previous? Yes, yes, he like, was. Yeah, when yeah. the show was starting, which yeah, is like, yeah. and this guy who suddenly joins us. Yeah. And he's like really good tactical. Yeah, he's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah. a force to reckon with. In fact, there's yes. an episode in season one where um, Lady Sif from Thor shows up. That's right. Because there's this Asgardian chick who has the ability to uh, sway the minds of men. And she's like, I'm going to enslave all of like the men on Earth and make them do what I want, because that's, that's what I feel like doing today. Right. And Sif and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. go take her down. But she winds up like wooing Ward. And he is, like, immeasurably OP. Right. And so, like, the two of them, like, lay waste to the area, and then they, like, kick his ass. Yeah. And then they, like, rescue him. But then it turns out, like, he's a bad guy anyway. Right. But, like, it's nebulous, because he's like, maybe he's a bad guy. And then in season two... Maybe? Well, because, like, he's loyal to Paxton, because Paxton saved him from a life of, like... Living in jail and, and oh, being yeah. like he was in away. juvie, and Paxton like got him out and like trained him, and and then like and in fact Paxton was Hydra, like Paxton yeah, was big into time. Hydra, yeah. but Ward only joined Hydra because like because Paxton, of Paxton was yeah. Hydra, yeah. But but so he was in juvie knew. because he was scrawling weird aliens. No, 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 that's Ward. Jo- Ward was in juvie because his brother made him torture his younger brother, their younger brother. Yeah. When he was a kid, like so actually torture. Anyway. Yeah, like yeah. like legitimately like fingernails. Yeah, like really. We haven't even seen what he's done, yeah, but we, we know that know. like look waterboarding and shit, like it's horrible. Shit. Yeah, yeah. He was using a screwdriver on him in the woods. Yeah, we don't know what he was doing. We don't know what he was yeah. doing, but we know it's horrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, at the end of this, at the end of the season, the first season, he um, he's on the bus with Fitzsimmons, and he locks him in. Uh, uh, one of the rooms, the ejector yeah. chamber that's like impenetrable, and and they uh, for keeping supervillains in. And Paxton tells him like you have to kill the. Water. He, he yeah. says you have to kill these two because they're agents of Shield and they're they're gonna f- my plan. So go kill yeah. them. And rather than shoot them, he ejects them out of the plane right. over the ocean. Right. So they're in this like airtight room that sinks to the bottom of the ocean. So they're still gonna die, right. but like maybe they'll survive. So it gives them a chance. It gives them a fighting basically. chance, as opposed to a, a a tag in the back of the head. Right. Unfortunately. Uh. Fitz decides to sacrifice himself yeah, to we, rescue his... Because of the plan, but he can only save one of them. Because right, because there's only enough air. There's going to be a rapid decompression, and like... And he can't afford to let her, like, try to save him, because otherwise they'll both die. So, like, he lets himself go, and she survives, but, like, she actually winds up going back and saving him anyway. Right. But he was underwater too long, and he had... He, he had... Uh, he was cut off from oxygen, so, like... Yeah, a lot of his brain cells died. A lot of his brain cells died. So... At the end of the season, uh, Bill Paxton and his like Hydra agents like try to f- over Coulson and his team. Nick Fury shows up and yeah, saves the day, and he's in the whole episode. Yeah. And I thought he was gonna be in one. Actually, Nick Fury winds up saving Fitz and Simmons. Yeah, he's like he shows up and like a plane comes over the water, and it's and he's like and he reaches out for them, and you're like, what the. F- yeah, and then you're like, and then he's not going to be in the episode. Right. No, and then he's still in the episode. But then like, then it goes to a commercial break, and it's like, Nick Fury, and you're like, F- yes. And then the next commercial break comes in, they're sitting in the plane talking to Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, I'm in the episode. <laughs> and then like, he ends involved in like a shootout with yeah. Coulson, and they're working together yeah, and making jokes. Sucks. Great. And, and uh, you're like, yeah. how did you get Samuel Jackson to He just likes doing the show. The show. Yeah. He just likes it. The- so like, there's actually a great moment where, like, Bill Paxton is defeated. Everyone's defeated, and they've arrested Bill Paxton. And Bill Paxton's also been involved with Centipede. And he was in charge of Centipede. Okay. Sure. And Centipede was also involved in creating Deathlocks, a.k.a. the cyborgs that are hugely integral to the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Deathlock is a superhero cyborg, and uh, that's totally dispensable and throwaway yeah. from that show. It yeah. doesn't matter. Just yeah. kind of neat. Over. There's Deathlock. Yeah. 
So, uh, but but Bill Paxton winds up actually like escaping. Like they think they killed him, and he's all yeah. burned up. And then he climbs into one of the Deathlock machines, and it like attaches, and it creates like he becomes a big supervillain. And he's like, and now the world will know my fury. And then <laughs> Coulson shoots him with the Loki gun that he shot Loki with through yeah. Avengers, <laughs> and he just explodes. <laughs> and Coulson goes, whoo! And then leaves. <laughs> and you're like, yes! It was amazing. Because I'm like, oh, Christ. Yeah, it was one of those, like, end of the, like, post-credits things yep. where he's in the room alone, he's being assembled. And, like, they oh, do the no. whole montage of him being yeah. assembled, and he's like, yes! And he looks so dumb. <laughs> Cause he, looks, cause he puts on, cause he puts on this suit that he can never take off, yeah. and it goes over his like pants. Yeah. So like, uh, your pants are just gonna rot under your <laughs> stupid metal suit. Like, you're just, you're yeah. Just, you're like, no, don't, no, do, don't it. do it. And then and they, they don't do it, and Coulson just kills him. He doesn't even mention that he killed him. Yeah. He just like leaves. Yep. Yeah. It's amazing. So great. So season two picks up, and like, right, so season two. Season two is a really life. fun show. Yeah. Uh, and I think like a lot of them learned lessons from season one. Yeah. I for one didn't think they needed to learn too many. People were really complaining that like season one was all about the characters they created and not really linking it with the Marvel universe as a whole. Yeah. More specifically, like why isn't Iron Man in any of these episodes? Yeah. Or why people... isn't like a lot of different supervillains? Yeah. That right. they can't put right. in the movies in the show. They kept right. making up supervillains like Deathlock. And well, De Centipede. Well, like, Deathlock does is... make sense. Like he is. Somebody. And Deathlock yeah. is a character. It was like kind of cool. Yeah. And Sif got to be in the show, and that was For cool. An episode, yeah. And like so, you know, there were there were references, but they really were trying to build their own. They were trying to yeah. build their own cast. Every episode flows into the next. It's definitely an ongoing story, and it really has been since the Cap Two. Oh yeah, since like they established Hydra, like now. The idea is that, like, the government on a whole has outlawed S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. So now, like, everybody who's loyal to S.H.I.E.L.D. are more like rogue agents. Yeah. And they're and, trying to rebuild. Yeah. And by the way, Fury gives S.H.I.E.L.D. to Coulson, and he's like, you're director of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Does this mean they bring back Coulson for Avengers 3? Well, nobody knows he's alive except everyone who sees him. <laughs> <laughs> because like that's like kind a of a weird that thing that, like he's yeah. a secret that he's alive that he hasn't told anybody yeah in fact there's a scene where like Maria Hill you know she was in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. after Nick left right like after S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gone like she's in the end of the first season and she's like well now that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gone I guess I'm gonna go yeah. and uh, and Coulson says hey si say hi to Stark for me oh wait that's right he thinks I'm dead and you're like yeah but you're not right but you haven't been dead for like a year and in fact like you've been out in the field, like yeah. doing things in well, a world with cameras. He has been like separated from the rest of Shield because the whole premise of the show is that they're like a, a team. It's like they have their boss, yep. and they go off and they do their own thing. Yes, and so, in fact, like, like it's only when what they never report in. Well, it's whenever you reach a certain level of clearance, you get to meet Coulson. Yeah, you find out you find out Coulson's alive. actually not dead. Yeah. But Stark doesn't have any clearance, so no, he's yeah. not even a member of Shield. Like, yeah. He's just some dick. Yeah, so so yeah. you know he doesn't. But Cap would be. Yes. Yeah. But Cap doesn't care. Yeah, he's got other stuff going on. Yeah. They never even talked to. They, well, yeah, he doesn't, doesn't show up. The thing they're setting up now is there's this uh, there's this artifact. Yes. That Hydra's trying to get, and they've been trying to get it since the 40s. Yeah. And it actually segues nicely into a spinoff show called uh, Agent Carter. Mm -hmm. You say it's not the Cosmic Cube, is it? Because we saw it's that. Not it's not the Cosmic, not the Cosmic Cube. Cube. It's a it's, new thing. It's a it's called the Obelisk. It's just a piece of metal, and like if With you some of the alien symbols on it. Right, and if you touch it, it like. Turns you to stone. You, you get all like black, and then it, you it, die. Like, spreads, and, and you can't let go of dissolve. it. Dissolve. Yeah. Um, and it's very unclear as to what it is. Yeah. And like, I'm a huge Marvel guy, and I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just made it up. Um, I don't know. So maybe yeah, it's one of the Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. maybe. maybe it's. The, it seems to be implied that it's a Kree artifact. Yeah, that it's like oh. a piece of either yeah. that or an Inhuman artifact. Or an, yeah. Some sort of but I think it's Kree because what we found out in the most recent episode of Agents of Shield is. Well, number one, Sky, who was infected with the or injected with the alien blood, does not have the auto writing. Right. Oh, okay. It doesn't affect right. her in any it way. It had no impact on. Which her. is leading to them thinking that maybe she is Kree or some kind of alien. Right. Because it's just normal for her. So there was no effect whatsoever. No. Other, well, she got better. Let's but not Coulson's do this. basically just been through the ringer. Oh through the yeah. Series. Oh, you feel yeah. so bad for him, yeah. but he's still pretty funny and awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about some like really cool OM OMFG moments and then wrap it up because yeah. like I think that that's uh, that's what yeah, we're doing. I mean, just for we're giving you a lot of context, kind of haphazardly. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's a recommendation from the both of us. We enjoy the show. Uh, yeah, I think fine. it's really great, and I think the more it goes in, uh, the more some me key members of the. 
Avengers franchise might, might be compelled show to show up. I know that Maybe. in a recent Reddit AMA, Robert Downey Jr. admitted that the only show that he would like to appear on in the next couple of years is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yep. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, hopefully it wouldn't weasel him out of a contract. Oh, I was in an episode of S.H.I.E.L.D. That is technically a movie. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, for me, one of, the, one of the first villains they introduced in Season 2 is the Absorbing Man. Yes. Awesome. Because the Absorbing Man is a real villain. What? The Absorbing Man is a Thor slash Hulk villain. Is he a sponge? No. He's a big buff dude. And his power is he can absorb the properties of whatever he touches. Is he part of the Wrecking Crew? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, I now remember I this. Like, you asked that sponge question before. <laughs> when did you ask that sponge question? In an episode of Back Issues. Wars, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it wasn't memorable enough, but okay. Yeah. But uh, Crusher Creel was... Uh, in this episode, and yeah. he was back, and he was the absorbing man. He yeah. didn't, and he like, and they even called him. The yeah, well, they call they're like this absorbing man. <laughs> you yeah. are some kind of astronauts on a type of Star Trek. <laughs> like it was that kind of line. And I'm really disappointed they didn't just call him absorbing man, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, and like, obviously, they couldn't have a whole episode of him just being metal and doing metal things. But like, it made sense in the context of the show. Mm -hmm. The things that he did were cool. Yeah, and. They're never going to make a Hulk movie in which he fights the Absorbing right, Man. No. But if they do, the actor who plays him is good enough. Sure. So whatever. There's this character who has, has... She has nothing on anybody. She plays both sides. She plays both sides. It's just... She's always... She's ever... Mm-hmm. Or maybe not. Yeah. In the most recent episode, she's totally boned. Yeah. She's, she's, she's screwed by everybody. Yeah. And she's still like, Oh, maybe I can do this. I'm like, You have no cards, lady! Yeah. And they call her on it. And they're too, like, you got no cards. And she's like, she's yeah. like the fat guy from Total Recall with the gun yeah. in his head. She's like, please, they're going to kill she's me. She's like, no, <laughs> isn't this fun? This is a cat and mouse game. And Cole's like, I got no time for your I'm moving on. Basically, she says she's going to, like, one of the plots in season two is that Simmons is undercover with and Hydra. Hydra. And she's like, I have a picture of Simmons and I'm going to send this e of at Hydra. Like I'll tweet it out at Hydra. I'm gonna send him a picture that she's like that she's working with a you. Double agent. And and he's like, go ahead. And she's like, what are you doing? And like, it's not like I'm a timer. It. It's not a timer. She's like, I can't stop it. You know, if once I if I don't stop it before the time runs out, I can't do anything. Right. About he's it. like, go ahead, I don't care. Yeah. She's like, and then it what goes are you off. doing? <laughs> like, I'm, she's gonna be killed. What's wrong with you? He's like, that's the them's the breaks. Like, I'm willing to take that risk. And she's like. Please, this guy is going to kill me. Yeah, this other like, group. She finally breaks. And yeah. she's like, please, I just need you to help me. And after one and a half seasons of her being like, oh, <laughs> it's like so satisfying. Yeah. So like, I hate her, but it was also great to see her get her comeuppance. Yeah. My favorite moment, or one of my favorite moments, is actually right after that, when Simmons is, the email goes out. Right. And, it, and you're like, oh, shit, she's, she's dead. And Simmons is like trying to like escape. She's trying mm -hmm. to run away and everyone's like staring at her. And she runs into a hallway, and she sees this chick coming down the hallway at her who's been, like, investigating everybody at Hydra and knows is a traitor. And so she's like, oh, I'm f***ed, because, like, this chick is about to kill me. Yep. And then, like, the chick, like, kills the two agents that are with her. And it's like, she was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. the whole time. She's an undercover S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Yeah. And that was why Coulson didn't didn't uh, give in to What's-Her-Face, because he knew that he had an extraction plan. Yeah. So, and then they escaped together. And that character is Bobby Moore's Mockingbird, who is a major Marvel character that yeah. they brought back in Secret Invasion. Oh, that's the... Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. And it's really cool. And yeah. she kind of has a costume, but it's not a costume. Yeah. Because well, we can't do that. Right. So. We can have him on Arrow, but we can't have him in S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, no one can have costumes on? Mm -hmm. well, it's just nobody's in costumes. Like Nobody yeah. shows up. In no any one's in their No superheroes are in the show. Except for Nick Fury, who has the yeah. iPad. Yeah. All the time. That's not a costume. He needs that. <laughs> It's That's a costume. Cover up his gross missing eye. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly it's a costume piece because Samuel Jackson is not missing an eye. <laughs> it's called acting. <laughs> in, in the series, it's not a costume. So, uh, yeah, uh, those are two cool moments. I like that. It's also showing that Shield's willing to do, like, to play in the sandbox. Yeah. Like, we're doing Absorber Man. We're doing Mockingbird. Yeah. We, we, we know they're never going to make a Mockingbird movie, so right. we can put Mockingbird. And it's played by a competent actress yep. who's doing a great job. Who, if they decided they wanted to make a Hawkeye movie, because Hawkeye used to be married to Mockingbird, right. they could make a Hawkeye movie with Hawk Mockingbird, with her, and it would it still be, be cool. Yeah, it wouldn't be like, enough. oh my god, you yeah. got this terrible TV actor to be in your movie. <laughs> yeah, Sky actually became interesting because, like, 
she had a goal in the first season, and now we're seeing in the second season it actually following through. And yeah. it's really And it's cool. actually, like, not everything. Because her goal was to find her parents, and huh. now she's starting to find out that, like, oh, like, it's That's not be important. pretty <laughs> her, her other goal was like she wanted to become an agent of Shield. Oh well, yeah, that was like a. Second. And it's funny because like she became an agent of Shield and then Shield fell. And then she day. fell apart. Yeah. That lit- like literally, they're like you're a Shield agent. Yeah. And then Shield was dismantled by Captain America. <laughs> Which, by the way, nobody says like Captain America. Yeah. No. You know there were some good people here, well, it's man. It's kind of like we don't have a choice because the whole country is going to turn on against us, and yeah. like the military is like after Shield now. That's another plot point: is that the like, military is yeah, after yeah. Shield? Because like military intelligence is like, no, we're in charge of spying now. Yeah, because we, we, we do such trust a good these job other agencies. Uh, and in fact, like there's an old Hulk villain named General Talbot, and he's like he's bothering them, but it's not General Ross, so they can still right. cast whoever they want. Yeah. And that's actually like a that's a true to life thing because there is actually like rivalry between military oh between the military and the CIA. Yeah. There are they're always like at each other. Yeah, yeah. like not sharing information. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's kind of a cool like real yeah real moment. It's fun. Yeah, it's a great it's a great show. I really like it. Uh, I think it's worth the investment. Um, yeah. But let us know in the comment section down below. Are you watching Ethan Shield? If not, why? And uh, would you check it out after watching this episode? Uh, so how about you? Would you would you watch uh, Agents of Shield? Uh, it sounds kind of interesting mm-hmm. um i'm I'm not gonna lie there's a lot of twists and turns that i don't <laughs> think i would have enjoyed the first season right the second season sounds cooler yeah it, it is noticeably cooler yeah so Definitely. i would probably just jump into the second season mm. yeah you might want to see the second season or the first season just to kind of get some context some context but maybe after you watch the first or the second season yeah so i'm like really invested and be like all right now i want the backstory yeah, yeah. and you yeah. might find like oh look at that it's like watching a prequel yeah I'd probably do that. It might be worth it to pick up from the episodes that started after Cap 2 as well. Yes. If you check out just the Winter Soldier tie-ins, maybe like the last like four, episodes four episodes of the something. first yeah. season, that might be worth jumping into. Yeah, just to right. catch you up a little bit. Definitely. Because they, they a whole lot of stuff is revealed. So much. There. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it being referred to now. Exactly. It's kind of into, it's kind of contingent on those, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. This was us uh, kind of... Working with our friends over at Wikia. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. And check out Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. See you next time.